Hello there, Coles here, and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. And in today's video, we are going to have a look at another of Moimus's build packs, which is the Capsule Tower Set. So, this world that I'm currently in is actually made up almost entirely of Moimus's builds, uh, specifically the Subterranean Level Pack. Uh, which has loads of uh, modular parts, which we looked at in the previous video. So all these parts here that I'm walking along now, they're all modular. And even this level here, this level covers the whole of this world. And is made up of modular sections, as you can see below me there. So there's like a whole city underneath me. And as usual, the Bricksafe page with all my Mrs. builds on will be linked in the description, as well as it as his original Steam post. And I'll also link his channel as he has started uploading. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at them. So I think there's four builds in total in the pack. There is this one, which is the main one. The capsule tower unfurnished so we'll get this thing out and place it somewhere these things are also all kind of modular they're made to fit onto these modular builds which is really good so we can just line up on that court on that edge there and uh well yeah it'll fit perfectly fine i know we actually have two roof sections so I think we can actually go ahead and build another one of these and then we can you know have each we can use each of the uh, roof sections so we can put this one on here and then the other one on the other building of course so make sure it's on properly There we go, I think that's right, yep. And then the other one, do the same thing. Make sure it's lined up on each side. I'm not actually sure that it's lined up in height. Is that better? Yeah, there we go. All right, yeah, so we have them both built now. And then the other build is this capsule lamp. So we can just, I guess, go ahead and put this over here. There's already some on here. But for the sake of this video and showing everything, I will put another one on here. Oops. Let's break the whole thing. Alright. Okay, so walking around the edge of this thing, I mean, the first thing I notice is how kind of futuristic and space age it looks. And then it's, it's called the capsule tower set because, well, obviously the, 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 it's just like made up of capsules around the outside, which is really cool. And I feel like it's the sort of thing you would see in, um, like in Asia in South Korea, in in Seoul, or you know, maybe uh, in China or Japan. It's um, very interesting. So let's actually head on inside, if we can find the door. I mean, yeah, we walked right past it before. All right, it's inside. I think each, I think each floor is the same. Um, as it says in the in the name of this actual build, it is not furnished. So that's obviously something that you'll have to do yourself, but that's not really a problem. It just means that you can make every room unique. Um, but I think each floor is the same. I think the floors are almost modular by the looks of things. So I said downstairs. 
All right, so the bottom floor is just uh, kind of like an entrance way. Um, you know, there's not any rooms or anything. It just goes to the staircase on each side because there's also a staircase. Okay, there isn't a staircase there. I thought there was. Never mind. Um, oops, wrong way. All right. So, wait, are we on the first floor here or second? I, I don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so this is kind of the size of a capsule. It's kind of, um... It's kind of small, but... I, I guess it depends what you use it for. Um... But, I mean, you could definitely fit a bed and, like, a toilet and stuff in here. It could just be, like, a large... It could just be, like, a really fancy prison. That would be kind of cool, but I feel like it could be like one of those revolutionary like projects for like cheap living. Um, so you might just have like a bed in here and a shower or a bath and then a toilet and sink and that would be about it. But I mean that's a pretty cool idea because I'm pretty sure there's like similar projects like this and things like um, the apartment buildings made of uh, car like shipping cargo containers, um, and obviously they're very simple, but they're firm, solid structures already. So all it requires is kind of putting electricity in it and furnishing it, making it comfortable as a living space. So yeah, this kind of reminds me of that thing. It's ve very basic, but just uh, fits together well and looks good. We're just going to carry on up to the top. As I said, I think each floor is the same. Apart from the bottom floor and uh, the roof as well. So we'll just walk up to the roof and see what's up there. Okay, we can't... Oh, I actually put that on the wrong way around. That was my fault. Um, so yeah, basically this hole is meant to go up the staircase, but I didn't do that. Oh, but we've like glitched up here anyway. But yeah, so this would be rotated 90 degrees, so when you walk up these stairs, you walk through this hole. But uh, I failed to realise that. Um, so then up here we have uh, this antenna thing, which I think was part of uh, the future pack maybe, or the sub-level pack, I can't remember which one it was, but we have some similar antennas and aerials down there. Um, and then yeah, we have this helipad here. But I think in the future, it's more likely to be some kind of uh, space ship, such as, what should we have? Um, let's go with, yeah, I kind of like this one. Let's go with this. This is, what, this is what everyone's flying around in in the future. So we'll put that on here. Oops, no, 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 that was a bad idea. Damn it, it's gonna... Did it hit it? No, thank God. All right. So I think we should have a look at the other build. I don't know whether we should start from the bottom and walk up or just start from the top because obviously the main bulk of the building is the same. Um, yeah, I guess we might as well just start from up here. So I think how you get onto this roof part will be similar to the other one. Assuming I put it in the right place. Which I did not. 
I have no idea what the heck's happened here. Let's see if we can change it. Okay, there we go. Let's get rid of the top of your one as well. So that we can turn that around. And then you want to put this... I can't, I can't actually tell. I think it's here. Yeah, let's go here. Make sure it's on properly. I think that's right. There we go. Um, what the heck? No, we still haven't got it in the right place. How? Okay. Is that where this, where's the staircase at? Staircase is right there on the bottom. Okay, that should be, that should be right. Okay, let's try again. I think the problem was, all right, oh, what have we done now? Okay, I've done that wrong again. <laughs> Needs to be turned 90 degrees. This way. I think. Hopefully I'm right this time. Well, the first the first problem I had was I had the had the um the blend thing turned on. So when I built this on top, it like filled the hole with bricks as like a base for this roof section. But obviously we don't want that because we want it to be hollow. Because it's a staircase. Okay, that should be it. Hopefully. Oh, why did it have to spawn us there? Skydive. Alright, so if we go in here, then the stair I should have put the staircase in the right place this time. Yeah, I did. Good. Okay, that's kind of weird. There's a hole. I don't know. It's easily fixed, I guess. Um, yes, obviously all these sections are the same. And then we go up this staircase. And uh, mind the gap, please. And we have this roof section. It's a pretty, pretty good window for a pretty good view. Except there's nothing there. And now we have this balcony area. Oh yeah, we need to put, we need to put our lamp on. I forgot about that because this is the other build in the pack. The lamp. Or light, whatever it's called. So I mean, looking at the whole thing, it's uh, it's nicely designed and uh, very cool, and could be very useful. But obviously, I'll have to furnish it uh, first. Um, yeah, I mean, let's go and furnish one of the rooms. We might as well see what we can do. So first of all, we want a bed. Perfect. Um, what else do we want to put in? Maybe. A crate with our stuff in. That might be useful. 
and I think we'll put a toilet in, a bath, possibly a shower instead of the bath. I'll see what fits best. Um, set the toilet, put the toilet right in front of a window. No, I'm joking, we won't do that. Would you want it? I don't think you'd want it right next to your bed. That's probably not the best idea. I don't think we have a choice. Oh well. Shower. Is this going to fit? I'm not sure it will. I mean, it fits, but not comfortably. Alright, try a bath. Perfect. Might steam the room up a bit. But I'm sure that'll be okay. Alright, we'll have to put it there, I think. And then we want a door, obviously, because uh don't want people seeing in. I actually want to put one of the slide doors on. Or the slide door, I should say, because I mean, there's only one. Now we have to actually find which... Okay, it's this room. It's a pretty cool looking door, this. I like it. I used it quite a lot on this world. Okay, how does that how does that look? Let's go and have a look upstairs. All right, that looks really cool, actually. The only problem with this door is it tends to remove bricks. I don't think it has. All right, never mind. It's just usually when you place it, it gets rid of some of the bricks around it. Yeah, you can see there. Are above the door kind of delete some surrounding bricks but and in that wall oops but I still think it looks okay and it looks really cool from out here sliding doors on your room and uh, there you have it <laughs> it's kind of cramped but you have everything you need to live pretty much but you'll probably have to eat like fast food and you know go out to eat every day. But um, that's really good. And the very last thing I want to try before I end this video is making the main like build the main like building taller. Because I was saying that each floor is like the same because it's modular. So we're gonna try and. Um, See if we can make like a bigger, a taller building. All right, I think it might actually be more complicated than I first thought. But I think if we get rid of all of this, then it'll work. Because actually this top floor here is actually slightly different as well to the rest of them. But I think once we do that it should work fine. Okay. Alright, so now we've done that we just want to copy this top floor here. I have to make sure we fit the whole thing in. Let's make sure it's wide enough each way. And then it needs to be tall enough. Which it already is, so that's good. We want to copy all the way down to like the bottom of these legs. Those very short two stud legs right there. 
and copy that. And then it's actually copied the layer below as well, but I don't think... That matters, I hope. Because it will just fit on top of each other anyway. Okay. So that's where it would usually be, but we have to go one down. Alright, it's spot on. Now, the next one, you just have to turn it 180 degrees for the next level up. And you'll have to do that each time, just turn it 180 degrees for each additional floor. There we go. And add another one. We'll make this one the last one. Okay, there we go. Now, we'll have a quick run up and see if everything kind of uh, checks out and works. Let's go, in, let's go in first person so we can see better. Because if you run around in third person in tight spaces, the camera is very glitchy. Oh. Nearly missed the staircase there. Alright, so it works perfectly fine. And um, obviously that means you can make the building as tall as you like. Which could be very interesting for building skyscrapers and things. Alright, so that is it uh, for this video. Thank you again, Moimus, for these builds, and uh, all the links and stuff are in the description as usual. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video.